Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do-it-yourself upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your internal battery on an MSI gaming laptop and in the act of going into it to access your battery, I'll point out some other components that you can access that way as well. As always guys, please remember to like and share if this video is helpful, if you think it can help someone else out. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further and leave a small donation, I'll show you a couple ways you can do that at the end of the video. Okay, so now let's get into the project. Make sure your computer's off and I'll show you how to start. Okay, so my computer's off obviously, it's flipped over, the power adapter's been removed. Uh, now I'm going to open up this bottom case. Most MSIs like this don't have those easy access panels to access components uh, like other computers have, so we have to remove this bottom case. Keep in mind things like this, guys. This is my factory seal. Oftentimes, this will void all or part of your warranty if you go into the computer, so please keep that in mind before doing any sort of DIY repair. If your computer is under warranty, uh, you may be better off to preserve that warranty and, and, and avoid DIY and instead um, apply for a warranty repair. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove these screws. I got two in the corners or sorry, four in each of the four corners. I got a screw there, I got two here, and I got two here, and I got two down by the uh, touchpad, and of course, that nasty one right in the middle. So I'll go ahead and remove all these now. As you notice, guys, my computer is sitting on an anti-static pad. Uh, either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas for keeping your workspace safe and limiting the chance that you have of damaging any internal components. If you want any ideas for any tools or supplies that I use in my shop, I'll have a link above and below in the description to my Amazon store. It'll give you some suggestions on things I use that you may find helpful. On my Amazon store, there are several sections. Repair tools is one of them. Uh, you can find things like common hand tools I use, uh, along with solid Windows 10, Windows 11, install media, USB suggestions in the event that you can't make one yourself. Okay, so now that all my screws are up, I'm gonna take my small metal flat pry tool and I'm gonna go along the seam and try to pry up this bottom case. Be careful when using these. Uh, don't stab it too far in because there are components in, in there and you could damage something. Put it in as little as possible, just enough to give you some leverage to uh, bend up the bottom case. Okay, so after that's done, uh, I had a little bit of trouble over here. It was a little stiff, but again, I just went nice and slow and, and popped it up a little, popped it up a little, popped it up a little in, inch by inch. And that comes off. There are no components or anything on here that you have to unhook. So that's a nice easy model to get into. Okay, so here we are, the inside of our computer. There's your fan, your heatsink assembly, going to your CPU and your GPU, solid state drive, RAM, battery, um, additional hard drive slot. So this is generally what you're looking at inside of your MSI computer. Um, keep in mind, not all MSI models will be exactly like this. So if you guys want help with your exact model, if something didn't look just right, um, or if you'd like some help, leave me a comment and I'll try to help you out. Okay, so here's your battery again. It's plugged in right there. I'll zoom in a little for you. Okay, so there's your battery. It's plugged into your motherboard right here. If you guys notice, this port right here has a space cut out of it where a section of, of this plug is sticking out. That's supposed to help you grab that and slide it out. You never want to pull things out by the wires because wires can come unplugged from the plug very easily. So I'm going to take a small plastic pry tool. Anytime you're working in a computer, guys, plastic is obviously better. I'm going to put that plastic tool right in there and try to slide it out. So that's not working so well. That seems pretty tight and I don't want to completely damage that. So instead, I'm going to take my fingernails, either side of the port, so slide it out like that. Wiggle it out nice and slow. Again, avoid pulling on the wires. Wiggle it out. Okay, so that finally came out, but boy was that a pain to get out. I, I kind of wasn't prepared for it to be that much of a pain. Uh, that took a lot of effort to slowly slide uh, back and forth, back and forth. I, I kind of went back and forth between my fingernails and this, trying to get it out. Um, again, avoid pulling on the wires. You're better off just taking forever to get that out. But now the battery is unplugged. And then to plug it back in, 
you would obviously just slide it back in there. Yeah, much easier to plug in than it is to unplug. Okay, so that's how you would do that on an MSI gaming laptop. Keep in mind, again guys, not all MSI models are the exact same. They're gonna have little differences between them. If this general tutorial didn't help you with your specific model and you're stuck somewhere, feel free to leave me a comment. I will try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. And as I mentioned before, any of you that wanna donate a little bit to the channel, support it a little further, I'll show you a couple ways you can do that now. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note.